Emergency meeting. Oh wait, isn't that what Andrew Tate does? Emergency slime meeting. Minecraft slime meeting. Welcome to the slime meeting. We're just in a meeting. I just want to get off my chest. Look me in my eyes. I hate mob votes. Yes, we get one of the cool mobs, but I always crave the other mob that wasn't added. But two of the mobs have been revealed so far, and, well, one of them is a crab. One of them is also an armadillo. Currently, at this point, I do not know what the third one is. But so far, the crab is so cool. So it's weird it can only be found in mangrove biomes. I feel like it should be found on beaches next to oceans. But that would clash with turtles. But so far, they have revealed that the crab will be able to drop his claw. Now, I'm not sure where you'll put your claw, but we will have further reach when it comes to probably breaking and placing blocks, which I'm immediately sold on that. I don't even care what the other ones will be. I am sold on the crab because I'm a builder and that helps building. Oh, man, but the armadillo will give armor for your freaking dog. Oh, gosh, that's so cool as well. I think I hate mob voting is because I've never wanted two features in Minecraft so badly before, and we can only have one of them. We don't even know what the third, I don't know what the third mob vote is yet, and I'm probably going to love it too, so this just sucks. <laughs> and penguins. I just learned the third mob is going to be a penguin. We're working on this, by the way, today, so uh, yeah, we're completely rehauling this. Finally, we're going to put this to use, but I'm not done talking about mob vote. Don't vote for the penguin. Don't. Just don't. I know they're cute. Actually, you can vote for whatever you want. You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> but wow, it makes your boat move faster. The same mechanic dolphins give to swimming. Ah, oh, yeah, we definitely need that. I'm still voting for the crab claw. I could place a block up there probably if I wanted to. Yeah, the dog armor is cool, but trust me, you're gonna put that dog armor on your dog and your dog is still gonna sit in the exact same spot you always left it, trust me. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done going off about the mob vote, uh, let's do something here. So before I do anything on the inside, because God knows it needs it, we really need to redesign the outside. Because it is just, just 2000, like 14 Minecraft, or 2012 Minecraft, you can just tell. The first things first, I gotta come up with the design. I hate it. I love it and hate it. It's not supposed to have two different color roofs. I'm just experimenting. And I'm flying because this is my test world. If you didn't know, I have a test world of my main LP. I'm trying to keep its regular shape to pay homage to its original build, but it's just not working. I'm going to keep the same dimensions, but I'm going to tear the whole thing down and just build it from scratch. I can't work with this square. <laughs> This is gonna hurt a little bit, but all good things come to an end. But this wasn't really a good thing. This was just a weird thing <laughs> that I never touched. So I'm actually completely okay. Oh look, workshop. <laughs> We're taking it down. Random furnaces. Oh look, a recipe. Oh man, look at that. Oh, that is such, oh man, that's how long these have been here. This is an old pocket edition glitch where chests would split. Oh, there's some old items in here too. Oh, there's even more old items. Okay, the whole other workshop is gone. I've already started building the new one. And I'm liking it already. I was very skeptical, but I'm liking it. This one is going to actually have a deep slate roof because I want my roof to start diversifying a bit, you know, I actually did with this, that uses a mud roof if you didn't know. Packed mud, all of this. But I think this one will stand out quite a bit because this is actually going to be my new workshop, hopefully. Where I go to, obviously, repair armor and tools. So, on the outside, I'm really getting into this aesthetic where you just make it look very repaired in a way. and just has stuff slapped on, you know, for reinforcement. So, that's kind of what I'm going for here. As you can see, just wood pieces everywhere, but I think it looks pretty cool. Originally, I was thinking about doing another one of these right here, which I still might, and then I can do like a cool bridge, but I don't know about that. As you can see, we have it lifted a little bit. We have a lot to do. I may even go into make a power system for this part of the house, which is gonna be powered by a windmill. So I'm either gonna have that sticking off of the roof or somewhere in the back. Building continues, because this is Minecraft and you build things. So I'm going for a unique design decision here. I am making a giant propeller what, did I ever say this? Yeah, I think I told you I'm gonna make a windmill. This one was kind of hard to design, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Just got the propellers done so far. 
It looks a little out of place, but I built it in my test world and it looks kind of cool. So it's going to be on some very raggedy looking stilts hanging onto the roof here. I'm really starting to embrace this steampunk style into my house, which I really love because it looks really homemade. So this thing is going to just power a certain machine in my house. I might go through with some honeycomb and actually make some of those more copper colored. I'm really enjoying this tone too. This too, this wasn't easy actually because it's kind of hard to place, but these are all under the roof and gives it a unique look as if there's like two different tones to the roof. Oh God, I still got a lot more to do. I'll hurry it up. Okay, there's my windmill. I I just took scraps from my scrap yard to hold it up, so don't judge me. <laughs> but I do like that it looks like that. Yeah, it does actually, I like that. It looks like actual scraps holding it up. That looks pretty cool. I'm still probably going to mess with the coloring on this, but as you can see on the other side, I do have some chains, kind of like, this is like one of them big motors I have, my generators. But maybe this is an older style one that's powered obviously by wind. And then this will lead down to a machine on the inside. I guess I completed the roof. Not really. Um, as you can see, I'm adding in stuff like this. And I'm going to run through, I believe, with deep slate brick to texture it some. I'm also going to throw something right here. This is going to be the entrance to the main level. Uh, we're, I don't think I'm going to do the interior today. That might be next episode because I plan to make this place look freaking amazing. I mean, it's going to be a workshop, so I want it to be packed with just details but there's gonna be a weird layer on the inside. So I have this idea right here, for example. Um, this is gonna be like some sort of thing you go, it's hard to explain. I guess I'll just make it and show you. To get down here, this is where all like the hot magma is gonna be in stored. This will be like a big door right there to get down there. And then this will lead up a staircase and this will be the main floor around where this log is. I'm bad at explaining stuff. I'm this is just all pictured in my head. I gotta make it come to reality. Okay, updating you some more because, uh, why not? Content. I added a smokestack. Had a little window right there. I think this side's done. So I got a texture the roof. This is hard. This is really hard. It may look kind of simple, but it's hard for me. I completed this side. I'm really liking what I did up here. It looks kind of nice. Oh yeah, just remembered. I still gotta do this side. Oh gosh. <laughs> I want it to be different too. I don't want it just to be one solid wall with designs. Kind of similar to the entrance over there. I want a part to poke out a bit. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm still sane. Oh, look at it. I honestly think that's so much better than the workshop that was there before. I think this was a good idea. We might even be doing this with our watchtower soon. But it's just hard to do. Or we can just make a new one. Because I love that thing so much. But I made a little section right here. This is what I was making. This is going to lead down into maybe an area where a lot of magma is. This side's done, and I got the back side done. I put a little bulging spot out right here. Maybe that'll be an area I store crates or supplies on the inside. And then I got all this done. <laughs> the thing is, is I went so willy-nilly on the outside, I got a feeling it's gonna be difficult to manage. No, no, I think it'll be fine. I honestly didn't want it to be this big. I wanted it to be a small little workshop, but I, I can find ways to make it smaller on the inside. Yeah, I definitely will. Last thing to do, I have one small part I want to try over here, and we also have to texture the roof. Okay. Wow. I'm just, I don't know why I'm just now realizing this, but Prismarine, is that what it is? Yeah, dark Prismarine goes so well with spruce and mainly dark, or just green terracotta. Look at that. I just wanted to make a little area back here where we could store, like, crates outdoors, most likely. Oh, I love that. And I got... The roof looking how I want it, I'd say. I went through and splotched in some cobbled deep slate and brick deep slate stairs. I like that look. Well, the whole outside is done. I don't think I want to do any interior stuff this episode. That'll be all next episode, which I can't wait for because I want to make a proper shop for once. Like, I love this place. This is what I'm trying to decide if I want to do or not. Like, it's going to be hard for me to let go of this because this has been my workshop forever in this world. But it'll still stay here. I'll still have the stuff I need in case I need to repair something. But I'll move, I guess. No, I don't want to move this stuff. I don't know. Maybe the old stuff can stay here. And this is where all the new stuff goes. Yeah, I guess I can look at it that way. <laughs> it'll be more advanced. I'll probably build an actual mass smelter in there. Like, I have a couple of them in my world. But one's way over there, which was the problem I had with that one. It's so far away. So, yeah, I guess I'll build one in here. 
Man, this was a fun build, I gotta say. I did this the other day. I like how it looks. Um, since my house kind of gives off this vibe that you could... I, I didn't say vibe. I don't know why I hate that word so much. Vibe? Vibe? I think it's because people say it so much. It, I just, I hate it. <laughs> It gives off a certain feeling, that's what I should say, that this place is really handmade, so I made some, like, walking path. For instance, maybe I don't want to go through my house or something, don't have my elytra rings on, but I have it going right over here to my attic, and I want to do this in more places, too. Wow, it was very orange in here. But okay, we're not done yet. I want to add some details around this thing. For example, I already made a little wagon down here. I like my wagons, but this is going to be... Probably coal powered, maybe. I'll have a little coal pile in there, but made a wagon with Bob, of course. <laughs> I was like using blackstone to represent coal because it looks more like coal than coal does, or coal blocks. Got a wagon there. I guess I can start throwing some boxes and barrels around the outside. Oh, that place looks so pretty now. I love my library. You remember how bad my library looked before the renovation? This whole renovating thing is so fun. Which is why I think I might just go through and renovate this tower. I, with how tall my house is getting, I might even just make it double the height and just insane looking. <laughs> okay, down here for instance, we can have a barrel here, a barrel there, a barrel there. One thing I've been starting to notice as well, I hate this. Every time you start the game now, it defaults on this. I complain a lot, don't I? But one thing I've been noticing is having crafting tables all over your world is so handy. There's so many times where I'm like, dang it, I need a crafting table. I've been starting to place them everywhere as much as I can. So, for example, right here is a good spot. We're going to have lots of armor stands around this place, even not being used, just like out here, ready to be used or something. I guess we can keep it somewhat grassy down here, but make a little bit of a path grass. I love my crates in this game. I like to make it look like maybe I brought this from somewhere and it was full of supplies and I just set it here and then I just end up leaving it there because what else am I going to do with it? I could make a crate yard. That would be cool. Like a version of my shipment containers but full of just boxes piled up really high. That would probably be best in the wasteland. Dang it. I want to get in here and start decorating but not today. Oh, grindstones and... Yeah, there's all kinds of things I could place out here. What am I thinking? Grindstones, smithing tables, even stone cutters. I feel like I need to leave a lot of this for next episode, though, because this is like the detailing part. Here, we can put one out here. Okay, we're going to save the rest of this for next episode. Okay, we got all of our boxes and crates in here, ready to move stuff out. This looks pretty. I love the sun rays in this sky bridge. Have I mentioned that I like Sunrays and RTX? I don't think I have. But uh, yeah, um, what do you mean that's a beehive? It's a cardboard box. Is there a way to connect this workshop? See, if you haven't noticed, every bit of my house I try to connect. Even the mansion is connected to this part of the house. Now the question is, should I connect this? I mean, I do have right here. We could do some sort of, it would, uh, well, it would be connected to the library. That's a little strange. Oh wait, no, look over here. We have this weird thing we could eventually turn into something. We could have some sort of path go off this branch and then do like a rope bridge of some sort to something, ooh yeah, maybe sticking out over here. Because I do like the idea of this being accessible without going on the ground down there. <sighs> I'm just gonna miss coming in here, that's my problem. Oh, I hate being like this, just let it go. Let it go. I'm not gonna use this armor by the way. If you guys didn't know, I took the test of greed. And I got it first try. And now I don't even want to wear the armor. The ancient wolf armor. It's all perfect armor besides... Th oh wait, that's thorns too. Some of it has... Oh, that's thorns too. Wait a minute. Thorns... Wait, what? Did I get all thorns too? I did. Or is there a thorns three? I'm not sure. But this is basically perfect armor. But I literally don't want to wear it because I don't want mending. Oh, it got dark. My armor is about to break, but I love the idea that I can throw this in the museum and craft a whole new set. Oh, the lights came back on. Told you to pay the bill. Uh, I'm just rambling now. I am going to end it here, though. Uh, this might be seem like a shorter video compared to my other ones, but it's just... I mean, that's just all the content I have for this episode. I think I'm over my phase of running out of ideas. I like working around home. We're going to return to the city, too. Don't worry. 
I've been placing, if you haven't noticed, a lot of... What are these? Azalea... What? I'm, ugh, I'm figuring it out right now. Spore Blossom. I've been placing these all over the place. I realize the higher up you place them, the more spores you will see higher up. Which makes sense, of course. I just love my whole house. Look at that. That looks so cool just being all up in the sky. But I am going to end it here. Uh, we'll get right back into the next episode. I won't wait six days for the next episode. I know these gaps in between each episode have been kind of longer than usual. That looks ugly too. I need to fix that. And I need to connect that to this part of the house. And we got to renovate that. A lot of the comments said I need to renovate this too. Now, I have so many ideas, but why don't I just do them? Okay, I'm going to end it. <laughs> From Mr. Raptor dash IC6DC. Hey Dallas, if you would invite someone to your world, who would it be? See, um, I have a lot of people saying they'd love to just join my world and tour it, and they're mainly just fans, and I can see from your perspective how amazing that would be for you. Uh, I don't know how that would benefit me in any way, I guess. Maybe I could make like a video out of it, having like fans tour my world with me or something along those lines, but if I had to choose maybe like another content creator or a friend, I really want my girlfriend to join. Are you watching? I hope you are. Yes. Eventually, you are going to play in my world with me. I have been dating her for a year and a half now. Her name is Emily. You guys have never met her, unless you follow me on Instagram. I really want her to join me sometime on here, just for an episode. We could do it, literally anything. Actually, I'd probably have her build something, <laughs> and she's definitely gonna say no to that, but I think it would be fun. Hopefully. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the future. And if we sweep on right in here to the place that we never come to. God, look at all these signs. You guys are crazy. We're going to end off this book with a few donations, mainly from Ryan Browning with a massive $40 donation. Ryan, you are on these walls so many times. He's become like one of the biggest supporters for my channel. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Ryan. You are a super generous person, and I want you to know that. And we also have a donation from Sandro Reinhagen. That's a cool name. Reinhagen. Where does that come from? With a kind donation. Thank you so much, Sandro. And Ramiro Makado with a nice little donation as well. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Ryan, again. You guys are just insane. That book is finished. Look at all these books. 50 pages in each. That's how crazy you guys are. We have room for one more. What am I going to do after that? I guess we got to build a whole new place. <laughs> I'm going to go tinkle now. This coffee has gotten to my bladder. So, I I'm sure you wanted to know that. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>